hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to view the cart details and cart items in our angular application and in today's video we will create the coupon entity and we will create the post coupon api in our spring boot application so let's get started to create the coupon entity we can right click on our entity package and here we need to choose new java class and we can name this class as coupon after creating the class we need to annotate this with the entity annotation and after the entity annotation we need to annotate this class with at the rate data annotation as well and at the end we will annotate this class with the annotation of table and for the name we need to set it as coupons in this class we need to store the id of the coupon and for that we can write private long id and we need to annotate this property with at the rate id annotation and after this we need to give annotation for generated value and in the strategy we can pass generation type dot identity after the id of the coupon we need to store the name of the coupon and for that we can write private string name after the name we can duplicate this line and we need to rename this to code to store the coupon code after the code we need to store the value for the discount and for that we can write it as private long and we can name this as discount and this discount will be in percentage after the discount we need to store the expiration of this coupon and for that we can write private date and then we can name it as expiration date let's import this class and after entity we need to create the dto for this coupon class and for this we can right click on our dto package and we can create a new class and we need to name this class as coupon dto now we can go back to our coupon entity and we can copy these fields without the annotations and we can paste them here in the coupon dto and at the end we need to annotate this coupon dto class with the at the rate data annotation after the coupon dto we need to create the repository for our coupon and for that we can right click on our repository package and here we can choose a new java class and we can name this class as coupon repository and this should be an interface after creating this interface we need to annotate with at the rate repository annotation and then we need to extend this class from jpa repository and here we need to mention the entity which is coupon and after that we need to mention the primary key data type which is long after the repository of the coupon we need to create the service and to do that we can go to the admin package in the services and here we need to create another package and we can name this package as coupon and in this coupon package we need to create a class and we can name this class as admin coupon service and this should be an interface now let's right click on the coupon package again and this time we need to create admin coupon service implementation and here we need to write implements statement and then we need to write admin coupon service after this we need to annotate this class with the service annotation and we need to annotate this class with required orgs constructor annotation and then we need to create the object for our coupon repository and we can import this class here now let's go to the coupon repository and here we need to create a method to check if the coupon exists by the code and this exists by code method will return one boolean and we need to write the query as 
exist and then we need to write by and then we need to mention the property which is code and in the params we need to pass string code now let's go back to admin coupon service implementation and here we can start writing method to create the coupon and here in the return type we need to mention the coupon because this method will return a coupon and we can name this method as create coupon and in the params of this method we will accept the coupon now in the body of this method first of all we need to check if the coupon is already exist in our db then we will throw one exception otherwise we will create that coupon and to do that we can write here one if condition and we can use our coupon repository and we can call our exist by code method and here we need to pass the code which we can get from coupon dot get code now if this is true then we will throw a new validation exception and in the message we will send coupon code already exist and in the else case we will write the return statement and we will call our coupon repository dot save method and we will pass the coupon now we need to write this validation exception and then we can create a new folder and we need to name this folder as exceptions and we can right click on this exceptions folder and we can create a new class and we can name this as validation exception now we need to extend this validation exception class from runtime exception and then here we need to write one method which is validation exception and this will accept a string message and in the body of this method we can call super and we can pass our message now let's go back to our admin coupon service implementation and let's import this class and after this we can copy this and we need to mention this in our admin coupon service now we need to create one controller to handle the coupon related endpoints and for that we can go to the controller and then in the admin package we can right click and we can choose new java class and we can name this class as admin coupon controller we need to annotate this class with at the rate arrest controller and after this annotation we need to give the annotation for request mapping and in the path we can pass api slash admin slash coupons and the last annotation we need for this controller is at the rate required orgs constructor and after this we can inject our admin coupon service and we can import this now let's write the endpoint for our create coupon api and this method will return a response entity and let's name this method as create coupon and then we need to mention at the rate request body annotation and after this we need to mention coupon and in the body of this method we need to write try catch block and in the try block we will create the object for coupon and we can name this coupon as created coupon and here we can call our admin service dot create coupon and we can pass the coupon and then we need to write the return statement and we will return response entity dot ok and in the body we will pass the created coupon after this we need to write the catch block and in this catch block we will catch the validation exception which we are returning in this create coupon method and we can name this as ex and let's import this class here and in this catch block we will return response entity and then we need to call the status method and in the status we will return http status dot bad request and then we will call dot body method and in the body method we will pass exception dot message and at the end we need to annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation now let's go back to our admin coupon service implementation and here we need to write the method to get all coupons 
so we can show a list of coupons to our admin and this method will uh, return list of coupons and we can name this method as get all coupons let's import the list class here and here we need to write the return statement and we can use our coupon repository dot find all method now let's copy this and mention in the admin coupon service and after this let's go to admin coupon controller and let's write the endpoint code and this api will return a response entity and in this response entity we will return a list of coupons and then let's name this method as get all coupons and here we need to write the return statement and we will return response entity dot ok and in the ok method we can call our admin service and we can call the method get all coupons and at the end we need to annotate this endpoint with at the rate get mapping now let's run our application as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and in the logs we can see that one table of coupons got created and that's it for this video in the next video we will call these apis to create the coupon and to show the coupons to admin